Okay, it's been three days since Apple released their 3.0 software update for all of the iPhones and iPod Touches, and the jailbreak is already out. This particular jailbreak that I'm going to show you is for the iPod Touch 2G, and it's using Red Snow 0.7.1, which also works with all of the other devices except the i phone 3GS I believe and like I said I'm demoing this on the iPod Touch 2G but it shouldn't be very different so first thing and during this tutorial I'm going to be taking pictures with my camera and I will feed them in so you can see just what's happening on the other side of the screen so first thing you want to do is download Red Snow from blog.iphone-dev.org that's the iPhone dev team site and you can get all of their updates and things like that and post comments and all of that great stuff. And so once you have Red Snow downloaded, you will also need your firmware that you used when you synced or when you set up your iPod or iPhone on the 3.0. So mine I downloaded. You can either use the one that you got from iTunes if you can find it or not saying you did or anything, not saying y'all are like little evil illegal torrent piraters, but if you happen to download it from some other place then you can use that one. But it has to be the one that your iPhone or iPod Touch is running right now. It can't be some other one and I just figured that out. So you want to read all of these first, the readme license and credits, and then start Red Snow. And as the readme suggests, if you have no idea what jailbreaking is, just turn around and stop now. <laughs> no, just kidding. Um, after this tutorial, you'll be an expert. So you want to browse for the ISPW that you are currently using, the one that you synced your iPhone or iPod Touch with to upgrade to 3.0. Can't just be some random one. So I use this one. Now it's going to process the firmware. And that will take about 15 to 20 seconds. Ooh, there's a mosquito on my screen. There was a mosquito on my screen. Now it says ISPW successfully identified. Now you're going to click Next. Now it's going to prepare the jailbreak data. And what you're going to want to do is you're going to be sure you turn your iPhone off. Please select which options you would like to have. Install Cydia. Yes. Next. Please make sure your device is both off and plugged in. So what you want to do is plug it in and then turn it off because if you turn it off and then plug it in then it will not work because it will turn it back on when you plug it in. So you have to do the slide to power off thing. So we'll go here, turn it on, then we'll go here and slide to power off. Whoops, sorry, I'm trying to take a picture. Okay, now your iPod Touch should be off, or going to turn off, and then click Next. And these next steps come at you kind of fast because they're the hold down, and they're, they're setting the iPod or iPhone into DFU mode, which is the recovery mode, which is where it has to be to jailbreak. And if you'll just give me a second, my iPod is still turning off, and now it's off and now you click next and I think you're going to want to hold the top corner button the home or not the hold yeah the hold button which is in the top left hand corner of the iPod Touch 2G for five seconds and then you just click next yeah hold down the corner button and then without releasing the corner button hold down the home button then we'll without releasing the home button continue to hold the power or er, without releasing the home button release the power button but keep holding the home button and it shouldn't take all 30 seconds it only takes about 7 and then it goes into jailbreaking and then of course the very best time for my camera batteries to go dead I'll take the pictures later and then feed them in uploading first stage performing initial exploit, uploading second stage, your iPod or iPhone screen should be white at this point, waiting for reboot, uploading third stage, and Vista's randomly going, dino, 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 waiting for reboot, uploading logo, uploading RAM disk, and it has this downloading jailbreaking data, 
which has a picture of an internal hard drive and a green arrow going down to it on t on my uh, iPod screen uploading RAM disk still uploading RAM disk since this looks like it's going to take a few minutes I'm going to pause this video and run and get new batteries be right back Whew, all right. While it was done, it uploaded the rest of the RAM disk, uploaded the kernel, and now it's saying done. But this downloading jailbreak thing is still here, and so I'm not going to click anything until it goes away. And it has the little rotating arrow under it. Well, not the rotating arrow, but the... Ooh, it's done. Okay, I'm glad I left it plugged in. It shows the little quick pawn pineapple thing. It says flashing in OR. It has a little progress bar. And it's still doing that. And it's moving forward slowly but surely. And I'll pause this video because it's getting a little long. Okay, it's installing bundles syncing file systems it's almost done now and my iPod screen just went blank and now we have Apple logo and as you'll see in this photo that I sync in there that my screen is very very dirty okay black screen Vista recognized it. Then again, you can never trust what Vista says. And it's here. We have iPod Touch. Slide to unlock. Now the real test is is there Cydia? I believe that we have Cydia. Woohoo! Cydia! Little buddy, missed you. And of course this is the 3.0 which I'll prove by showing that I have a search page. Woohoo. <laughs> um, yes, so we have Cydia. Functions perfectly. Reorganizing will close automatically when done. Select wireless network. Yes, we have done it. Now we can click finish over here and close red snow and I believe that's pretty much it so thank you for watching and now I believe I'm going to put in a few more photos thank you and good jailbreaking happy jailbreaking